Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Hope you're doing great. Nikash Adal back with another excited video. So I'm going to create a new course about Sanma 4D. Really awesome course, uh, Sanma 4D Advanced Cloth Simulations. So I'm going to use Sanma 4D R 2023 and the Redshift for rendering engine. So I'm going to upload uh, one video every one week or in two week because of time shortage so this is the first part and let's begin let's see what we're going to create in this part so we start from the beginning and going in advanced level so this is what we're gonna create here hit play as you can see here it's just simple banner falling from the building and tear it up so let's start this is really simple and easy to step so i'm already set up my all environment and building for the uh, back simulation what we say for matte shadow so i also set up my camera and this is just simple shape i add these two pillar because of this pillar you can use any actual building or i'm just using this background image for our rendering so let's go so I add the, these two hinges, a grabber for rope. So let's begin. First we start just simply by adding a plane. Just rotate it in 90 degree. And go in front a uh, side view and just take it out. And uh, take here and make it a little bit smaller like that a bit longer so just go back here and add more segments so we just add 80 and 80 and now we need to add our rope so what we're gonna do here we just simply create as empty supply and uh, we're going to go uh, we just go in a point mode and enable the, that snap so just hold control and create one point on the one edge of the plane and the other on the next edge of the plane. So make sure your supply is connected with your, what you say, edge of your plane because we need to connect it together otherwise it's not gonna work as a rope. So that's it now just like both point we just recently created of your supply and increase the length and just make sure it's go out from your hinges so just uh, hold control and create another point in the center and control a select all the points go right click and subdivide it because we need more segments for make our rope work really well so we just subdivide it like that's looking okay for me so next thing we need to create a shape foldable shape of our plane because uh, as you see on the beginning of the video our plane is folded so for that we're going to use a supply wrap so just turn off this snap and go in point one first we need to align our supply to our this plane yes here yeah. where is our supply here we go we just take it over and snap it with our plane edge so like that we just enable snap and boom as you can see here it's automatically snap with your then and it's perfected connect with your edges so next thing we just take it back in our hinges so make sure it's crossed through your hinges because we need to use these hinges as a rope glider so that's it that's looking okay let's check from the side view make it sure it's center of your hinges so next we just create a foldable plane we just convert it into editable poly and rename our supply into rope 
supply like that and plane into banner so that's okay so now we just simply add a supply tag a supply and wrap tag you just hold shift and it automatically added under your banner so now we need to create a supply for our wrap so what we're gonna do here we could just go back in our front view and change it to a left like that there we go now we just simply create empty supply and enable this snap snap tool and go in point mode and hold control and create one point on this there and other there and other there now what we're gonna do here sorry like that a bit now one there now we just simply connect it one and each other like that a little bit just turn off the snap here now like that now as you can see here our supply is too small so make sure you can make it a little bigger because we need to fold it half of halfway of our plane otherwise look really messy well, that's looking okay so we just fold supply and just rename it as a fold supply and go in your supply app and put it there as you can see here it's really messy so now we need to rotate our supply wrap so let's rotate it from 90 degrees so as you can see here it's perfectly rotate so perfectly fold so we need to add some more space between them so click on your fold supply and add like that not like that let's see yes okay and as you see here they automatically create our we just add more space between our supply in here fold supply like as we can see it okay as you can see here that's looking okay for me if you want to change more i'm just giving you example you can do whatever you want here like that that's looking okay for me and next step we just add we just connect it like we just add a connect tag like here now just press c as you can see here it's no more uh, 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 it's no more procedural that's our what we say that's our object or polygon for cloth so next thing we'll just rename it and banner and we'll just delete that fault supply in here no need anymore nothing so now we add a cloth tab right click go in simulation tag add cloth now if you hit play so it's simply falling down nothing happened Uh, it just sucks not looking good here so next thing we just simply add a rope tag on our sub rope supply and if we hit play as you can see here it's both falling down so next thing we just add a collider on our hinges and our building right click simulation and glider make sure there is a difference between bullet tag collider body and collider there is a not the same so make sure you know the difference so we need to uh, add an anchor point for our rope because if we don't do that it's going to fall down here so we just go back and click on our rope supply go on point mode and click on our what we say 
rope tag and go down here you see display anchor so we just select few of these points so just we select these and this one sorry we just uh, shift here and go in your and click on set so as you can see here uh, it's turned from yellow to blue so it's mean it's not connected uh, sorry it's set to anchor point now as you see here our because of supply and wrap our plane is going bigger than our hinges so we make sure we just small it make it smaller and center it just go in front view and that looking awesome now if we hit play so as you can see here our rope is not going anywhere just cloth is falling so now we need to connect these two object together so what we're gonna do here we just add a connector on our banner tag uh, on our banner object go in simulation tag and here you find connector so when you do that and go always draw and just click on create so as you can see here they create something but I didn't see this hit play so as you can see here they create these yellow lines it's mean it's connect with your rope but it's not connect it really well so we need to fix it so what we're gonna do here we just simply increase the search radius like really up now if we hit play so as you can see here it's connected but we need to add more we need to update it just click on clear and create again so now if we hit play so as you connect it's fix our as you see here it's fix our problem but other problem is appear uh now you can see here our search radius is 16.85 centimeter that's why it's also going to connect our other end of the cloth with the rope so we don't want this so for fixing that problem what we need to do here we just click on clear and we add a point restriction for that click on your banner go in point mode and select that line of point so how we do that press ul like that sorry and just simply go and select store selection and rename it anything you want so like uh, banner points if you don't want to rename it it's on you so as you can see here our point selection is there just go back in normal mode and click on connector and drag and drop your banner point there now if we hit play sorry we need to click on create so as you can see here now we see these yellow lines now if we hit play as you can see here it's only connect with your uh, one end of your cloth hit play let me show you so that's looking awesome already looking awesome here that's okay we need to increase more keyframes now if we hit play as you can see here as you can see there is some as you can see here there is something going on so how we can fix it just increase the search radius to lot more now if we hit play it decreases but sorry we need to click on clear and create every time you add some changings hit play so as you can see here it's looking really well so next thing we need to add some tearing effect so 
support that. Let me show you what we're gonna do here. So now if we hit play. So that's looking good for me. Now we just need to give some geometry to our rope supply. For that we just simply add supply sweep. So So we have smaller rope than our hinges otherwise it's gonna mess up so that's looking uh, good for me now if we go back in our mood here so you can give it more subdivisions so if you want I give it a go there okay as you can see here that's looking awesome so now just add a tearing effect here there we go go in your close tag and if you scroll down here you find a tearing and just click on cloth tearing now we just simply hit play let's see what happened so as you can see here it's going a little bit slower with tearing effect As you can see here, we don't see tearing effect because of our material. We just give it something else. Just change the color. As you can see here, it's tearing from both of this side from the beginning. But we don't want that. We just want tearing start from the frame of from frame 60. So what we're gonna do here? We just simply create what we say vertex map. So for that go in point mode or any polygon modes so click on create set vertex weight click on ok so just go back to object mode as you can see here for that we're going to use uh, fields for our vertex map so click on use field double click on vertex map tag and click on use field here we just delete that phrase and here we just add spherical field so as you can see here sorry for our field we just put start from there and we add something called random field also and click on multiply and now if we hit play sorry not play you just need to add a some one thing else freeze here and go there and click on grow now if we hit play we just put it there like that now let's see what it's going to do as you can see here it's expand from the one side and going to the other end so that's what we want here so now what we do Uh, if it's happened to you just go back in your rope supply and go in first step and change this bandiness from 5 and again to 1 and it's going to fix it some kind of glitch I think so so that's looking awesome but now we need to give tear past uh, expand that and drag and drop your vertex map inside this map field now if we hit play so as you can see here it start to what we say tear up so we need to give it some keyframe from starting and beginning for starting and beginning for that what we're going to do here go in your vertex map and just disable opacity to 0, 0, 0 and just click on field keyframe control and click on the add field button and here you see there is small little 
keyframe and go back on your frame around about 60 and give one more keyframe and on 90 just enable all these fields and click on that keyframe now what's going to happen now if we hit play and here you go as you can see here nothing happened but when it's go to frame 60 it's going to tear it up as you can see here it's happening so that's what we want so uh, you can add if you want to add uh, any forces here like go in simulation add force like a wind here so there we go and if we just play wind here and add something like called 200 let's see what happened if we hit play so as you can see here wind is affecting our cloth is going but wind is so slow we need to increase it so like that so go on side view view side view and here is our wind here now if we hit play again let's see what's happened so as you can see here it's already effect to our banner so that's how you can add more more effect in by adding some simple uh, forces so now let's step into the rendering we just delete it we don't need for uh, this for right now we just add a plane like that we just add glider on our plane simulation tab glider now if we hit play let's watch from the start to beginning So let's add wind for frame 60 which starting from when it's triggered so wind uh, started so let's add our wind again like that so we just put some keyframe like zero there not there on frame 60 zero and just all the way up to 500 and add little bit turbulence no no need turbulence now if you hit play let's see what happened always just play around with these values so you get really awesome stuff so As you can see there it's slowed down our whole process so don't worry because I'm using laptop not my workstation so that's why it's a little bit slow as you can see here our wind is start and I don't see any okay so it start tearing on the frame 90 so so our wind is affecting our banner so as you can see here that's why I add this pillar it's going to affect so Yeah, that's looking awesome 
next try it with without wind what is the difference let's see how it look without wind here So as you can see here it looks really simple without wind it's just falling down and tearing up so you can play around with tear if you want to add more tearing effect just go in close simulation and under the tearing effect just decrease that don't increase it it decrease it it's add more what we say uh, tearing effect in uh, on your cloth so as you can see here it simply fall down and vertex map is working really well so so it's falling from the sky hmm. okay now as you can see here it's fall to the ground Oh, as you can see so that's now let's tap into the rendering side so uh, last time we just uh, check one once more of uh, what we say function like a uh, rope tearing so let's see what's happen with rope tearing just enable it rope tearing and hit play so let's see what happened So let's go into the trend. So let's render this uh, scene here. So I'm going to use red shift for now. So you can use any render you want. So I'm going to use red shift. So I'm using red shift 3.5. So let's add some. Mm. Okay. I am looking for better cloth view like this one that's looking good or uh, no that's not looking good okay let's go with that so we already changed it to a redshift now we just open IPR window redshift IPR like we just press it there and hit here this is our simple we just make it fit like this so we just create and uh, just add a dome light here so we're going to use dome light where we go so here we go in lights and add, add dome light so as you can see here that's looking great in dome light we just add a texture so we're just going to use texture we already downloaded so here we go so we use this texture in the dom light so that's pretty dark don't worry about it we add more lights here so we just rotate our texture a little bit okay that's looking good for me now go in your dom light and just click on the background uh, enable back plate and in back plate just add your same texture of your building you are using before we are using so here we go so as you can see here you can see your background so next thing we need to add a, a redshift object tag on our both a plane and this building because we need to convert it into the matte object so what we're gonna do here we just go in our where is our cube here this one so just click here right click coin redshift where is redshift huh? where is redshift 
Here we are in render tag. Just go on RS object and just click on go in mate and click on override and enable. So as you can see here when you click on enable it's already disappear. Uh, disappear. So go down and click on enable shadow. So that's what we want. We just copy same this tag on our uh, floor plane here. So we just go there and put it there. So as you can see here now we have shadows and beautiful looking clothes here. Just stop it for a bit for go back there and hit play for get good looking cloth so okay not that go back and uh, so that's looking good so we use this frame for rendering so now as you can see here it's not looks really good so we add area light for give them more visibility so we just click on the low cover scene and now we just go in the random view take our area light out and we just need our area light from this side not too much because it's really really don't want too much light from there So now create a material for our cloth we want to give it silky look so what we gonna do here we just simply go and create new redshift material to big node editor for redshift before one it's looking awesome so as you can see here so we just turn off the reflection and change the fuse color from a little bit darker gray really dark I want it really really dark here there like that a little bit more like this and we just turn off the reflection down we don't want any reflection and the main magic happen in sheen we want to give that banner silky look so we just add a little bit uh, sheen like point seven so as you can see but it's too much we just add point two let's see no or point five and just change it to all the way to the dark black that's looking good and as you can see here it's not reflective it's uh what we say a silky sheen effect so let me show you from the closer let me just do that as you can see here its effect with light so we just need to make sure our light is not too much for our scene like this and let's hit if we hit play let's see our cloth from the different angles looking great now we add simple uh, same that uh, silky material on our rope so we don't want anything fancy because it's not a rendering uh, lesson we just create a new redshift material for our hinges just simply 
probably say lead and paste it on our both hinges so now we add some texture node like we want some uh, what we say graffiti or something else or text on our banner so what we can do here we just add a new node called texture and in texture node we just okay we must duplicate it otherwise we need for off so we just work it here in color and that's what I but that's really annoying so you need to every time go back there for changing so I have this texture and let's apply this material on our oh it's need to rotate but don't worry I don't rotate it you can understand what I mean so so that's looking great so go back on our first scene so there is a problem as you can see here you can see your uh, texture on the back so for fixing that what we need to do here go back in your scene and just click on front we want it on only front and this is for back so okay wait this is back and this is front oh, everything is mess up so uh, if we just simple hit play like that let's play it light is too much we need to decrease the lighting I need to add more sheen effect I think what the heck is that like sheen to point sound now if we hit play As you can see here, it's looking really good. So that's how you create all this. So let me show you one render image of that. So let's pause. Let's select what image we are going to select here. let's try this one let's create more band because she only work really good with bands so we just add more bandiness let's hit play as you can see here we can see more bands so we're starting over again for best looking rent so as you can see here thanks for watching so that's all for today thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you want if you have any question just comment below and let me know so thanks a lot of